To improve circulation, it is often necessary to place elevators within a model. The first step is to place the elevator component. In the second floor plan view, let's open the component tool and find the elevator component. If the elevator cannot be found, it is possible that it needs to be loaded into the project using the load family tool. When the elevator component is located, we can select it and place the component in our model. Next, let's navigate to the first floor plan view where we will place another elevator component directly under the first. In our 3D view, we can see our newly created elevators. In order to enclose the elevator, we must now create walls along the borders of the elevator component. Return to the first floor plan view and open the wall tool. Next, let us edit the top constraint property in order to extend the walls all the way to the roof. Now we can change the reference location line of the walls to the interior finished face to aid in the wall placement. To place the walls, let's select the outer lines of the elevator and connect them using the trim tool. With the walls placed, we can return to our 3D view to see the enclosed elevator. To add an opening for the elevator, we can edit the floor boundary, as we did before, or we can create a shaft. To create a shaft, we will open the Shaft tool. Once again, we can pick lines in order to create the sketch of the shaft. In the Shaft properties, notice that the shaft will extend from the first floor to the roof. This tool creates an opening for the elevators by editing the boundaries of all the floors and ceilings located in this range simultaneously. Once the outline of the shaft has been drawn, we can finish our sketch and the new shaft will be created. To create access to the elevator, we will once again create an opening, but this time we will use the wall opening tool. Starting on the second floor, we will select the wall that we wish to make an opening in. Next, let's select the start and end locations of the opening. We can now select the void in order to view its properties. The top offset is measured from the roof, while the base offset is measured from the first floor. Switching to a 3D view, we can now clearly see the doorway that we just created. We can now repeat this process in order to create access to the shaft on the first floor. When finished, we can switch to a 3D view to see our completed elevator.